Canada produces more maple syrup than the whole rest of the world combined. And when sugaring season begins, everyone gathers to celebrate all things maple. I'm going to be making maple cream sandwiches. These are sandwich cookies with buttery shortbread and a rich maple cream filling. This process is very similar to most other cookies. If you have a stand mixer, all the better. It really saves a lot of time. But before we even start using the mixer, uh, let's sift our dry ingredients. We need five cups of all-purpose flour. Measure by dipping and leveling like this. I always decant my flour into a glass jar like this or a canister just so that it's aerated and not packed solid. Whisk this up, getting any lumps out of the flour. And now for the other dry ingredients, baking powder. And did you know that baking powder is used when you want your cookie to rise straight up? So it's one tablespoon and one teaspoon, leveling off the top of the spoon. And we also have a half a teaspoon of coarse salt and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And again, you want to level. A little offset spatula like this works very well. So there's your dry ingredients all nicely mixed. And now we can start creaming the butter. So in the bowl of your stand mixer, add two cups of butter. That's one pound of butter. Just make sure you get the measurements right. So get that butter all nice and creamy and then just gradually add two cups of granulated sugar. We're using white sugar for this shortbread cookie, but we're also using one cup of maple sugar. Now this is a half. It's a little more powdery than granulated sugar. What this is, is really maple syrup evaporated and pulverized. So cream again until light and fluffy, and then add two large eggs. I'm just breaking the eggs into a bowl so I can make sure that they are perfect. And just mix for about 30 seconds. So there. Now you can add your dry ingredients. And this can be done, oh, a half cup at a time. The mixture is extremely fragrant because it has that beautiful cinnamon and the essence of maple. There. So once your dough is completely mixed, cut it into quarters and then wrap each quarter in a package. Put in the coldest part of your refrigerator for at least one hour. This recipe actually makes 40 cookies, which sandwiched together will make 20 beautiful sandwich cookies. So just flour, not generously, just flour enough so that it doesn't stick and roll. So you want, ideally, an eighth of an inch thick. And then we're going to cut this into maple leaves. Each quarter should make 10 maple leaves of this size. I'm going to get eight out of this and I roll and get two more. Now we're going to bake on parchment lined baking sheets. And so very carefully lift off your surface and slide onto your parchment paper. And they really look very beautiful. And I suggest chilling each cookie sheet before you bake. It really does help keep the cookies in that beautiful, beautiful defined leaf shape. Now, once the cookies have chilled and they're nice and firm, uh, you can put them right into a 375 degree preheated oven, bake rotating halfway through until the edges just begin to brown. That takes about 10 to 12 minutes. And then once you remove the cookies from the oven, let them cool on the baking sheet for three minutes. So now for the delectable maple cream filling. Sift three cups of confectioner's sugar, 
and a fine sieve. Push out the last little bit. One and a half sticks of butter. And this is three quarters of a cup. You can just cream that until very smooth. And into the cream butter, add your confectioner's sugar. You want a nice thick filling because you don't want it to ooze out when you bite into the sandwich cookie. You can add your six tablespoons of maple syrup. So that's your maple cream. And you can store this in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. Once you're ready to use it, transfer it to a pastry bag fitted with a quarter inch round tip. So about two tablespoons per cookie. You wanna make sure that there is enough filling so that every bite has filling and the cookie. Enjoy. Thank you.